I am from a small town near Philadelphia called Bertrandville. I'm so excited about the things we're doing and the changes we can bring to people's lives. Tell somebody who I just meet on the street, it's like, I do biogas. Do you have biogas? No, well, these are the benefits. And then they get really excited about it. their eyes light up. They're like, really, you can do all these things? Like, you can actually do that? And I, why don't I have it? Like, well, call me. I am from the western side of Kenya, Kakamega town. I looked at my family, my grandma especially, and she struggles so much with lighting firewood and the smoke is just too much for her. So I felt there was a need for me to actually take part in this initiative. Uh, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, in the United States. Uh, small farmers in Kenya, I had experience working with them um, before. I think I can A, get people to care, and B, get people to put their money where their heart is. I'm from Philadelphia. Renewable energy has always been important. I, th I always thought that we have to find a new source of energy, and biology is such a cool way to get energy. Here's these little machines that recreate themselves, and you can produce all kinds of fuel from them. I'm from, I'm from Kenya, from Nairobi. Uh, I'm a Kenyan. But I left Kenya in 95 and you know, did what most people in my generation did, went and did a profession and so on. Didn't find it particularly interesting or fulfilling and always wanted to come back. Uh, I'm from Wingate, Kitui County, uh, in a village called Momone Village. Having grown up in Wingate uh, and seen the effects of climate change and just people cutting down trees, I had grown the interest in seeing how we could conserve the environment. If you were to find me at work, it might be me sitting on top of the biogas system in our backyard to do some kind of pressure measurement. I will be having phones around me and smiling at clients, basically handling the phone calls and emails and the accounts. Uh, first thing in the morning, I you know, check on the chickens, make sure they're okay, make sure they've been fed uh, and watered. Uh, then we, I generally would catch up with uh, with the team, make sure everything's kind of going on according to plan. And you would find me outside working, testing the digester, researching on, on, online, or just designing stuff on the computer. So I'm usually in the field. I drive a motorcycle up, you know, these beautiful road, winding roads in the rural Africa. It's just absolutely mind blowing. Let me see. It's a job of surprise. Willing to accept some uncertainty. Be prepared for anything. And every day at Takamoto is a learning experience. Every day I learn something new. Definitely the most important lesson is how important people are. Having people who are motivated, the people who share your dream with you. I've seen Takamoto grow from a, a small two people company to like right now over 10 people. And it's all because of teamwork, guys wanting to work together, helping each other grow. When they are out there with clients, they, the clients feel, feel very happy. They are always, they want them to come back. I had the immense pleasure of meeting this mama when myself and Graham went um, on her farm. She gave Graham a warm hug. She said, this is my son. She um, then immediately asked if I was his wife. And then <laughs> she sat us down and she gave us lunch. I'm looking into expanding my knowledge because every day I'm learning new stuff about burgers. I plan to put up a burgers for my mom so that she can no longer continue using firewood in her field. I have uncles in Bungoma that have cows and they just have cow dung laying around. I feel like it's something that I could take over to them so they can have an alternative source of energy. The fact that we're going to have an impact on all of these families, that's hundreds of families that are going to be getting biogas systems whose lives are going to change. Um, hundreds of women who will be saving time, who will be able to spend more time with their kids, kids that will be able to study and do better in school, fathers that, that will get more crop yields from their farms will be able to better provide for their family, cleaner air for these beautiful upcountry towns where um, you see all this greenery but you realize that trees are getting cut down at an alarming rate for firewood. I want us to be um, not just providing it to the tens of thousands in Kenya but working with people who are providing it to the hundreds of thousands across the continent. We're the ones that are going to be taking it to the masses and this has the potential to, to impact so many people, so many families, so many kids, so many mamas. Mm -hmm.